Hello everyone, it's another lovely time on the Kobe Guide to Trip for Kitchen. Welcome to yet another exciting season of beauty, season of care and love. So today, what we will be looking at, something very simple, pepper snail. But this time around, the pepper snail, the pepper snail, I'll be using coconut oil. There are different types of oil. You have vegetable oil, soya oil, sunflower oil, so many of them. But even maize oil. But for this, I want to use coconut oil so that I can have that coconut flavor, uh, that texture, and also the coconut aroma. If you can lay hands on the coconut milk, why not? Just add a little more so that you have that coconut. I love everything coconut. But most people don't want to be careless of so many reasons. But once in a while, use coconut. Prepare your coconut stuff. So if you don't feel like doing coconut rice this season, this is what you can do. Pepper snail. Or you use the fresh farm snail. You can use the fresh tomatoes. Plenty of red, fresh pepper. And then a mixture of carrots, diced and green pepper. Right? I still have black Cameroon pepper. I'm going to add this to the pot so that I boil the snail until it is soft and tender. You know snail is slimy. When you wash, you wash well. If you don't wash well, you won't enjoy it. So as you boil, you must have, add plenty of pepper. If not, uh, you will not enjoy it. And of course, I have my seasonings, my curry. I choose at all times to mix my seasonings, my curry, my thyme, my turmeric together, and then prepare something nice. And I just said to you, want to add very little quantity of uh, cabbage. Fresh cabbage is a nice one. Mm -hmm. And then I have my salt to taste. Now, very little of my garlic, ginger, and onion mix. The major part is already, I'll add to the pot so that I use it to prepare and boil the snail until it is tender. Then I now start the pepper aspect. I will tell you how it goes. So here we go, the fire is set, the pot is here, I have to add the snail to the pot and apart from that I added garlic, ginger and onion mixed together well blended. I, I don't mind seeing the onion all over the pot but like I always say most people don't like it especially young ones, children, they don't want to see the onions, they don't want to see the tomatoes, they don't even want to see the garlic and the ginger, not to talk of the smell or when it goes down their throat. So the best thing you do is just blend into a very smooth puree and add to the meat. So right now the uh, snail is here, the garlic, ginger, onion, salt to taste and seasoning to taste is already here. And I want to add a little of my Cameroon pepper, like I told you, snail must always be spicy if you want to enjoy it if not mm, the way it will go you will not like it so i have added a little black pepper and i'll just cover not totally i'll cover slightly so that i can allow it to boil and then i don't allow the steam to surround the pot and then let me stain my uh, gas all right so the still is cooking Boil the snail until it is tender. Don't forget I said ginger, onion, garlic, all mixed together are already here boiling. So while this is doing, let's quickly get the pepper sauce ready. Like I said, I'm using coconut oil. I just allow the oil to roll around the pot. This is a very small pot, the oil is not much. Okay, very quick, I'm not wasting time. I add my garlic, onion and ginger um, mix, I'm adding my tomatoes, sliced or blended tomatoes, I'm adding my <laughs> red pepper, Arr, this is, okay, I'm joining this with my carrots and green pepper, ah, I love this corn, so let me put this there, okay. On a normal day, 
using only pepper would have been a good one, but I can't stand the spicy taste. So all I have to do is add some tomatoes, carrots, and you know, you need something green, something fresh, vegetables. That's why I added all this. So I'll add the salt to taste. Before I add this, that is the curry, turmeric, and the thyme powder, I'll add my tiny sliced um, cabbage and then just half teaspoon of everything mixed together is gone and then finally I add my seasoning to taste now I'll stay coffee because of this pepper. Now while this is boiling, I will reduce the heat and simmer until the water from the tomato is, is totally dry. Then I will now transfer this and I'm also boiling this, the snail, the water from this is almost dry. So what I will do, I will allow this to boil very well. When it is almost dry, I will now add the snail, stir everything together and serve. That's all I need to do. Yeah, welcome back. I just put all the gas now, so the two of them are off. The steel is well dry now. You can see this. Almost burnt, but well... Look at the color. And it's well dry. And of course, the snail too is well cooked. So what I'll just do is to just move this to the next pot. So watch me while I do this. I use my wooden spoon to stir. So I put the heat, I go back, just simmer as I'm stirring. I'll just simmer for just a few seconds. ready to keep a very cold okay no please don't go for cold water just get <laughs> plenty of water and then some nice drinks around you while you snack on this healthy peppered snail with your toothpick you can pick one I just gonna like eat it but right now I don't have any water here so I don't want to try it so this is it just for you and on this note I say thank you so much for watching you can make this and um, Cut into tiny bits and enjoy your day. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like. Don't also forget to drop your comments. Thank you so much for watching Gomega 234 Kitchen. My name is Lydia. I hope to come to your way once again very, very soon to share another nice, lovely African recipe that you eat and take and live a healthy life this season. Don't forget to observe all the rules and regulations of COVID. Have a great time and God bless you.